Surprisingly, the human studies consistently show that collagen supplements reverse the signs of skin aging. Collagen looks like a rope, it holds everything together, so surely if we take these long ropes of collagen as a supplement, our digestive system would break it down and it would have no effect. Well here's what's really going on. We know that adults over the age of 80 have about 75% less collagen in their skin compared to young adults. And the remaining collagen is disorganized and fragmented, so we need to rebuild our collagen ropes and this is done in the deeper layers of the skin, so we have to ensure that the deeper layers of the skin have got all of the nutrients that they need from our bloodstream. Clearly then, by supplementing with long ropes of collagen, it's not going to be directly absorbed and reach the deep layers of our skin. So the collagen supplements that are sold today, they are hydrolyzed, and what this means is that the long ropes of collagen are broken down into smaller peptides. And it's those peptides that are absorbed, and we've got human studies confirming this. And we've got three possible mechanisms for how these absorbed collagen peptides can help stimulate our body's own collagen production. The first one is that the collagen fragments themselves can stimulate the collagen production in the skin. The second mechanism is that the collagen peptides can actually increase skin turnover. And the final proposed mechanism is that our gut continually samples and assesses our food antigens. After our immune system recognizes those collagen peptides, then it dampens down the immune response against our body's own collagen. That's all nice in theory, but what do the human clinical studies actually show? Well, in 2014, a double-blind, placebo-controlled trial of 69 women was done, and at the end of the eight-week study, skin elasticity in the collagen groups it showed a statistically significant improvement compared to placebo. Similar results were found in a separate 2015 study, as well as a 2020 study. Also in 2020, a meta-analysis was done which combined all of the relevant clinical studies together, which found that all 10 randomized controlled trials showed improvements in skin health, including moisture, elasticity, and wrinkle number. Since that 2020 meta-analysis, we've had further trials, including this one in 2021, again showing improvement in skin hydration, and a further study published last year, 2022, which we'll go through in detail. It was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study, which enrolled 100 adults aged between 35 and 60 years old, and it compared 500 milligrams of low molecular weight collagen peptides to placebo. And the study used very objective measures of skin health, so it evaluated wrinkle volume and skin roughness using an optical three-dimensional measuring method. In addition, they used two board-certified dermatologists to independently evaluate the wrinkles around the eyes. After 12 weeks, the wrinkles around the eyes they were significantly reduced in the group that were taking the collagen peptides compared to the placebo. What I really like about that study is the objective measures that were used to assess skin health. Now, collagen peptides are short chains of amino acids, and amino acids make up protein. So one of the interesting questions is would we get the same benefits simply by supplementing with protein? To explore that idea, a 2020 study was done. This was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial to assess wound healing in burn patients. It compared 36 grams of collagen peptides to 35 grams of soy protein, and the author has found that the wound healing rate was significantly higher following supplementation with collagen compared to protein. So it does appear that there are important differences between supplementing with collagen peptides compared to supplementing with protein. And one other potential benefit is improved tendon strength, as shown in this 2022 randomized controlled trial. When selecting a collagen supplement, you'll often see the supplements mentioning type 1 collagen or type 2 collagen. Remember though that the original ropes of collagen are chopped up into smaller pieces, and there's no human evidence showing that the original type of collagen matters, because again, that original rope of collagen is chopped up into smaller pieces. What's important is that the collagen supplement says that it's in peptide form or hydrolyzed. They're both the same thing. Then we need to make sure that it's third party tested and of a good price. So for example, the brand Vital Protein or Orgain are both great products. Personally, I use Do Not Age and there's a 10% affiliate discount code in the pinned comment. I take 15 grams a day and I mix it into my smoothie. But it's not just supplements that are crucial for skin health, so make sure to check out this next video here on sunscreen. And a massive thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization. And to benefit from their ingredients as well as the 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.